So then, so this is the terminal side. Let's write it. Terminal side. Okay. And, and this is the x-axis. This is in a standard position. Let's call it angle theta. Good. Now, now we can apply trigonometry here. So if you um, if you look at the components of this vector, you have the horizontal component, yeah, from here to here. And then you've got the vertical component from here to here. Then if you, this is like 90 degree right angle. Mm -hmm. okay, so now let's, let's, for the sake of this class, let's call this one X. So this X is the distance from here to here. And let's call this one Y. Y. So you see here we use like A, B, C. And because this is going to rotate, yeah? Right. To rotate. So it's going to be the radius of the right. circle, yeah? So we are going to have like a circle, yeah? Yeah. So this as the radius is rotating. So we call this one R. Now we can redefine our ratios using x, y, and r. So I can say now sine sine of theta is the opposite side. So what is the opposite side now? Y. Uh, y. Very good. And then oh. uh, r. A y. Yeah. And then over oh. the hypotenuse, which is r radius in this situation. And then we have cosine, cosine of theta, which is, so we know it's hypotenuse, yeah. R, oh, and yeah. then we have the adjacent yeah. X. Yeah. And then we have, ten, I mean, we can, we can consider tangent too. So tangent of theta is y opposite, is which is y. y over adjacent, which is X. X. Very good. And, I mean, this is very useful. And we learn reference angles. So if you rotate, if R comes down in quadrant 2, yeah, like somewhere here, somewhere here, then then Y is still, let, let's say, the same position as this one. Y is still the same. Theta, like, becomes like maybe 135 now, yeah? But we use the reference angle here. So that is theta. You see it now? And you get same answer, but not always. I mean, you get same magnitude, but not with the same direction. What do I mean? Here, if you consider uh, sine, because R is positive, yeah? Right. So R doesn't change. R is positive. But Y, here, Y is positive, positive. above here also positive. positive, but if you come to quadrant three, if if your angle comes here now, and then this is the reference angle. So here y is negative. Yeah, y is negative. Also in quadrant four, y is negative. Same with cosine. Cosine x is positive, positive. in quadrant one. In quadrant two, negative. negative. Quadrant three also? Oh, no, negative, negative. But in quadrant four is? Positive. positive. And then your tangent depends on which quadrant because y, yeah. y over r. Now, what about the coordinates? So how, how can I find the coordinate here in terms of x, y, and r, and theta? You know, it's very interesting because we can, we can rearrange because this is the x, yeah? Yeah. The x coordinate. So if I want to get x, x is r times cosine. cosine. So that's uh, r cosine theta. And and y is the same r sine theta. theta so yeah. you, you can define the position of the point when this is rotating, like where is it now? Where is it? If you know radius and the angle. And 
if radius is one, so usually you will see that they don't write R because it, R is one, then it's so just cosine theta, sine theta. In if it's negative, do you just put a negative sign in front? Uh, for, for R? Uh, no, just like in general, for example, yeah, if Y yeah, is yeah. negative. Yeah, I mean, if it, you get negative because depending where you are, if right. you're in quadrant two, so X must be, so you get negative something and then Y is positive something. That's I why see. the point is in. So you just stick the sign in later. Yes, uh, but, but if you get your angles correctly uh, and you will get the correct signs also. When you, when you uh, so you wouldn't need to stick yeah, like what is sign of this angle so the sine of like uh, 135 is positive but cosine of 135 will be negative okay all right now we can go back to our questions